we are going into our 45 minutes of glute strength. Our focus, you realize you can't see me, our focus is uh, to really be focusing on our hip thrusts. So we're continuing to incorporate them. You want to be able to feel your glutes throughout the whole entire movement. So there really isn't a point in the hip thrust where your glutes turn off. So you go to the very bottom, they are on pushing you all the way to the top. They stay on bringing you back down. Okay, so they're on the whole entire time. If you are struggling to activate them or to feel them, the band definitely helps. And then honestly reduce weight. Okay, sometimes if we put too much weight on our hips, we end up using other parts of our body. So reduce your weight or maybe even use no weight at all. Okay, so we'll be starting with our monster taps or cha-chas. That's gonna be our warm up. Um, Here's another indication. As you're getting more efficient or that neuromuscular connection is developing and getting stronger and stronger and stronger, it takes less time for things to turn on. So these 30 second rounds might become a little bit more intense than they used to be. And that's because you are advancing, you are progressing, okay? So that's a good thing. If you are ever like, why does this hurt so much more than it ever has before? That is why, okay? I forgot to pull our card yesterday, so let's get that out. And then we will go. <laughs> All right. So this very. Okay. Our card. I will read it, and then we will go. Actually, how about we start with our band? Hi, Stark. Let's start with the band, and as we're going, I will read out. What a magical card for today says. Let me adjust the screen and then we'll go. Okay, now you can see me. Okay, 30 seconds on the clock. We're starting with stationary taps out to the sides. Okay, three, two, and here we are. So hip hinge, knees drive out, tap, tap. Our card for today. You are allowed to create stronger boundaries for yourself, even if other people don't like it even if it feels uncomfortable at first, even if it triggers guilt, which is an outdated ancestral pattern you can now release, even if others call you selfish because they no longer have power over you, and even if you feel like you already have strong boundaries, keep reinforcing them. I told you these cards are getting longer. <laughs> Three, two, and one, perfect. We're gonna go into cha-cha. Did you remember cha-cha? We'll stay on one side. It's like a diagonal press back. Three, two, here we go. Step back, pull it in. Step, pull it in. Very, very good. So for me, I feel this way more on the standing leg, the one that's staying stationary. I'm gonna to try to tap into that thas area. Thas being your thigh and ass junction, okay? But predominantly for me, I definitely feel it on the leg that is trying to stabilize me. We have five seconds left right here. Relax your shoulders through two and one, switching sides. Taking off in three, two. Here we go. Step back and tap. Back and tap. Beautiful. Breathe. It's a diagonal step back, so just from this angle, so you can see. Back and in. Back and in. <laughs> there we go. Big tap backs. Try not to transfer any weight necessarily behind you. You're keeping all that weight right on this leg. There we go. We have 12 seconds left. Make sure as you're tapping back, this knee is not pivoting in. Beautiful, we have four, three, two, and one. Ouch, 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 yeah. Ooh. Okay, lateral taps, three, two, here we go. Tap, tap, beautiful, side to side, excellent. Remember, we're not shifting our weight to the sides. It's kind of staying center, centered and tapping out to the sides like that. Beautiful, 12 more seconds. Nice job, breathe, relax your shoulders. We have four, we have three, two and one, ouch. God damn. <laughs> Woo! Cha-cha. Three, two, here we go. 
one side at a time. Let's let that intensity build. Exhale, big tap back. Nice job. External rotation with the standing leg. We have 13 seconds left right here. You are doing great. Big tap backs, we have eight. We have five. We have three, two, and one. Give it a second, maybe hammer out those cheeks. Five seconds, we'll go on the other side. In three, in two, here we go. Tap, tap. Spreading the band, external rotation. Grip the floor with your toes. Hip hinge position. Beautiful work, you got it, come on. We have 15 seconds. Come on, spread that band as much as you possibly can. We have five, three, two, and one. Woo. Okay, this time around, let's go monster forward and back, and then we'll finish with alternating cha-chas, okay? Three, two, here we go. So we're doing a waddle pattern to the front of our mat and return it, walking backwards. As you walk forward, think heel toe, driving the band apart. As you walk backwards, think toe, heel, toe, heel, beautiful. 12 seconds left right here. If you don't have a mat to guide you, it's about four or five steps forward, four or five steps back, three, two, and one, ouch. <laughs> Woo! Cha-cha, this time we will alternate sides, okay? Three, two, here we go. So it's this diagonal step back. Excellent job, come on. As you're stepping back, make sure this knee doesn't tip in. It stays over. Second and third toe. Beautiful, tap and tap and tap. Good, come on. You got it. We have about six seconds left. We have three, two, and one. Uh -oh. Okay, beautiful work. Let's put these off to the side. So now we are going into our working sets, our big old strength sets. <clears throat> so what we have here is we're going to start with our shoulders elevated, band can be on. Again, either no weight, lightweight, or if you know for a fact that you've got that connection, you can go ahead and increase your weight. Then we're going into shoulders elevated, hip thrust with a pulse, okay? Making sure that the chin stays tucked so your view is straight over the tops of your knees. You're not looking at the ceiling, okay? And the core stays nice and active. We'll then quickly turn around, take the band off, and we're gonna go into single leg, one foot elevated hip thrust, and then we'll go into box squat with weight at the shoulders to our box. That's it, that's it. I don't know why I got lost in my work there, but I did. <laughs> Something there didn't feel right. Okay, I'm just pulling up my dumbbells for that one. All right, y'all, <clears throat> shoulders elevated. We have 45 seconds on. I am a mess right now. I don't have any of the right weights out. I switched up my, my side of the room and it's like throwing me off. Okay, 45 seconds on, 10 seconds to transition. We have four movements and three rounds. We take off, I of course have to pee. It's never a good thing if you have to pee as you put weight on your hips. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> but we will manage. All right, ready, three. Two, and here we are. So we start at the bottom, thrust to the top, pulse, and then lower it back down. Push, pulse, squeeze back down. When I say squeeze back down, that's because you're keeping tension in the glutes. It's not as if they turn off right there. They actually control the lowering phase. Beautiful work. We have 23 seconds left. Push, beautiful, come on. From here, we will take the band off. We'll put one foot up on our step and we'll go into single foot elevated hip thrust. Option to have weight over the hip of the working leg. We have five. 
We have three, two, and one. Beautiful. Band comes off. One foot up. If my left foot is on the step, the weight, if I'm using weight, is on the left hip. Here we are. Control the down. Exhale, push. Control the down. Try to push your foot directly down as opposed to away. You'll know if you're pushing away if your step starts to slide away or you start to slide your body in the opposite direction. Beautiful. Strong lift. Control back down. Nice. We have 16 seconds left. Big up. Control back down. Squeeze up. And control. Nice job. We have four. We have three. Two. And one. Switching sides. Give yourself a quick little break. Take it off in five. Take it off in four. Three. Two. Here we go. Control back down. Big push. And control. Now that working leg, make sure the knee isn't turning inward. You're staying nice and strong through external rotation. Pelvic floor is lifted and engaged. You are squeezing your cheeks the entire time. So, so good. If you took a peek, if you took a poop, <laughs> if you took a peek at that foot that's working on the box, the toes are straight ahead. Nice job. We have 12 seconds. Come on. We have three, two, and one. Beautiful. Shoulders, or sorry, weights up the shoulders. Sumo box squat. Meaning, feet are quite wide. Here we go. Sit back and down onto your box. Big push. Beautiful. Big push. Big stance, meaning much wider than your normal squat stance. Beautiful. Up. Nice job. Belly stays pulled in. Push. You got this. Come on. We have 18 seconds left right here. Push. We have 12 seconds. Up. So, so good. Feel the glutes help to get you up. And then also control the down. Three, two, and one. All right, shoulders elevated. Band is on, quick transition. Three, two, and here we are. It's okay if you're a little behind. Just hop in when you can. Push, pulse, control back down. Push, pulse. Think of that pulse also as being about a two inch drop, squeeze, and then back down. Sometimes I think we do just this very shallow pulse, but we want to really work it. Beautiful. If you've got your band on, really spread it. Come on. So, so good. Big push. Squeeze, lift. Nice job. We have six seconds left. Come on. Three, two, and one. Single foot elevated. This time I'm going to start with my right foot up, just giving it a chance to get that extra burnout. Three, two, here we are. Up, control, back down. Strong up, and control. It's not necessarily about your speed, nor of course the amount of reps that you're getting in, seeing as we're doing this for time. So don't think about trying to get in as many reps as possible. Really take this time to focus on, are you feeling that cheek? Are you feeling that glute working to get you up and down? If not, make adjustments, whether that's take the weight away, move slower, three, two, and one, move slower, maybe put your hands there, setting up on the other side. We take off in three, two, here we are. From here, we make a quick transition. We stand up, weights to the shoulders, wide stance, sumo box squat. 
Taking your time, feeling into your hips. Beautiful. Strong push and lift. Control back down. Strong lift. Control. Beautiful up and control back down. So, so good. You got this. We have 12 seconds. Up. Beautiful. Come on, we have five. We have three, two, and one. Sumo. Wide stance. Three, two, here we go. Hips go back, lower down. Big push. Nice. Come on. Elbows stay lifted. Use your cheeks to pull yourself with control to your step, no crashing. And then powerful push up and out. Make sure when you push up and out that your core is fired up. We have 20 seconds left right here. Hip hinge, control, push. Hip hinge, control, and big push. Grip the floor with your toes. Arches in your feet. We have five. Three, two, and one. Final round. Oh man. Band is on. Three, two, here we are. Shoulder elevated with a pulse. Push, pulse, and control back down. Nice job. Control. Strong up. Pulse. Back on down. 24 seconds. You've got this. Come on. 18 seconds. Push. Control back down. Here we are. Finish this one as strong as you can. We have eight seconds. Come on. Big squeeze. We have three, two, one. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Stand up. Single leg. One foot up. Three, two. Here we are. I'm starting back up with my left. Strong push. Control down. Push and control. Nice job. Pelvic floor is lifted. See if you can keep your glute on the entire time, meaning don't let it turn off at the bottom. You can fully rest down. But see if you can keep that tension. It is so much harder if you do so. 15 seconds. Come on. You got it. 10. Oh. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my God. Ow. Other side. Three, two, we're up. Remember in the beginning I was complaining of being cold? Definitely not cold anymore. Squeeze and lift. Keep that tension, come on. Beautiful, push, push, push. So strong, come on. 25 seconds remaining. Big up, control the down. Up and control. 17 seconds. Up. Nice job. Come on, push. Control back down. And push. I'm pushing myself away. I can feel it. We have four. We have three, two, and one. Okay, sumo. Final time with this one. Wide stance. Weights are up. Three, two. Here we go. Hip hinge. Control. Push. Hip hinge with control. Elbows stay lifted. So, so good. Up. Nice work. Push. Very, very good. Strong butt squeeze. All the way to the top. Control back down. 20 seconds. Up. So good. We have 13. Plant your feet. 
Don't let the toes lift up. We have five, three, two, and one. I don't know what it was about today, but that just burned like four times more than it normally does. Whew, that was great. Like it hurts to sit right now. <laughs> it, it, it hurts to sit. <laughs> like what? <laughs> That's when you know that you got the burn going on. Okay, so moving on. We're going into our posted deadlift. So what that means is you could do it. I'm sorry, I need to grab my water. So the posted deadlift Last week I showed it here at the wall, which is where I'm going to do it again. But again, if you don't have access to a wall, you can do it right here. This leg, let's do it this way. This leg has a slight bend in it, meaning it is not here. That's straight. It's got a slight bend. You are in your hip hinge. You do stand tall at the top, but now you hip hinge here. Squeeze, hip hinge. Squeeze. What is this? This is hip extension. This is hip flexion. So we go into flexion, extension. We do not need to go into hyperextension. Okay? Other option. Back foot goes on your step. Same idea. This is where I will demo it today. Just because I know a lot of you have a step. Okay? So we're going to be here and here. One quick last reminder. I do love these. I love, love, love at the wall. So if you did these last week and you felt really connected to them, come back to the wall, and that's our position. We have 45 seconds on one side, 45 on the other, and then we go into, this week, goblet sumo, right here, but we have a pause. I'm not gonna count, you're just gonna try to follow me. So come up when I come up, okay? Ready? I'm fatigued. I was fatigued. Maybe skiing yesterday took a little bit more out of me than I thought, which is good. Truthfully, I'm going to start here at the box, but if I don't feel the same connection that I do at the wall, then next round I'm going to go to the wall. I encourage you to listen to your body and go where you need, where you need to go. Mindful of your weight. This isn't a max lift. Okay, so I'm not using my heaviest kettlebell. I'm using 20 pounds. Pull whatever hand is holding the weight. Make sure it's not dropping. The shoulder is set. This would be protraction. We want a retracted shoulder holding the weight. Weight does not need to touch the floor. That is the end of my speech. Three, two, here we go. If I'm standing on my left leg, I'm holding the weight in the right. Hips go back. Squeeze to the top. Hips way, way back. So we go into hip flexion, spine stays long, hip extension, hip flexion, extension. Beautiful. We have 22 seconds left right here. As you're going through this, be mindful of what that foot is doing. Are the toes picking up off the floor? Are you rolling to the outside edge of the foot? See if you can keep a nice flat foot. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. These are an exploratory move, okay? It is an acquired skill for you to feel it right back here. Three, two, here we go. Micro bend to that knee. Strong squeeze to the top. Hips go back in flexion. Squeeze tall to extension. Beautiful. We have 26 seconds left. Again, shoulder holding the weight is retracted. Hips go back. Feel that long line of tension, of contraction behind the leg. We have 11 seconds. Hip hinge, tall squeeze. So, so good. Three, two, one. I'm going to try, I'm going to stay with my 20 on the sumo with a pause, three, two, here we are, 
push. Remember, try to stay with me. So lower on down, push, lower, hold, drive your knees out, push, lower, hold, drive your knees out, push, beautiful, lowering down, holding, push, lower, keep the glutes under tension, drive the knees out, push, we have 13 seconds left, big push, when you're here at the bottom, make sure you don't bounce to come up, come up, good, lower down, three, two, big push, beautiful, first side, three, two, here we go, hip hinge down and back, squeeze tall, now be mindful of your uh, distance, from your anchor point, where the foot is, the back foot. Play around with your distance. I notice that the closer in I am, not too close, but I get a little bit more out of it if I'm a little bit more snug. Beautiful. Whereas in the past, I used to go a little bit further out. So it's all dependent on you and what you're feeling in your body. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. <sighs> Belly is tight the whole time, okay? Three, two, here we are. <sighs> Hello, hammies. Woo! Squeeze, press. <sighs> Hips go back. Weight stays <sighs> in your toes and your heel. <sighs> But as you put your hips back, make sure your toes aren't lifting up. Come on. So if we were doing a single leg deadlift, not a posted one, your toes would not be lifting up, right? That's what we're doing. We are essentially doing a single leg deadlift just with the back leg posted up. We have seven seconds. Three, two, and one, right? This is our single leg deadlift, hip hinge, and we squeeze and stand. Same movement, just with the back leg up. Three, two, here we go. Pull to the bottom, and push. No bouncing for that push. Pull to the bottom, belly is pulled in, push. Pull down, knees out, push. Beautiful, pull to the bottom. Push, so good. Belly pulled in, we're at the bottom. Big push, so good. 18 seconds left, strong up. Pull to the bottom, big push, so good. We have eight, let's stay. We have five, four, come on, three, two, push. Woo, there we go, final round. Back foot up, weight and shoulder set, three, two, here we go, posted, beautiful reminder, weight does not need to touch the floor, other reminder, this is not a Bulgarian split squat, this is a Bulgarian split squat, we are not doing a Bulgarian split squat, okay? Lindsay, I need to see if your back is cool, the torso coming forward. I need you to come to about a horizontal position. Drive up. If you're feeling that in your back, try. No weight. Hip hinge. Three, two, and one. Switching sides. So again, feeling it in your back, you try this movement with no weight. Three, two, here we are. Good, good, good. Come on. Meredith, if you're on your left leg, the weight needs to be in your right hand. Okay, sorry, sorry. I saw one hand down. Gotcha. Push. You're like, bitch, I'm hands free. <laughs> Seconds. Let's go. Y'all can smack me around. That's fine. That's good. Ten seconds. Hips back. Come on. Push. Beautiful. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Had to squeeze out that last one. Three, 
two, goblet, sumo, with a pause, push, beautiful, pull down, use your glutes, push, beautiful, drive those knees back and out, push, good, control the down, and push, good, Cecily, those look great, there we go, Melissa, big push, beautiful ladies, 18 seconds, push, nice, Lindsay, grip the floor with your toes, up, so, so good, come on, push, we have six, one more, three, two, and up, rest, grab a sip of water, so, so good, we have one more set to get through, said this before, but in case you forget, your glutes are your largest muscle group. So it does, they deserve, you deserve, they deserve the time and effort it takes to connect with them. Because if you get them to function efficiently, correctly, your life changes. And that sounds like an exaggeration, but it's not sitting, standing, stairs, running, playing, biking, skiing, hiking, probably one of the ones that everyone loves the most, sex, even sex changes. How does that happen? Well, because it's connected to your pelvic floor and the more of a connection that you have with everything, the better the orgasm you have. So it's all super, super, super important. Yes, for aesthetics, but really for how you function in life. And if y'all think I'm joking, I'm not. <laughs> It affects all of these different things. Okay. Shoulders elevated, feet flat, feet elevated, and then we finish with box squat uh, in a sumo position, but I'm gonna do a low box. So I'm gonna lower my box right now, which is going to be probably still okay for my shoulder elevated. Okay, so if you have this box and you know that you can do a lower box squat, when the time comes for it, go ahead and lower your box. Band is on. We are going into shoulders elevated. Then again, we go into feet flat. And then we will go into feet elevated. It doesn't take a massive box, but I will leave it up to you. If you find that this lower box is not cut in it for you, then during one of our transitions, take the time to adjust it, okay? All right, I have so much shit <laughs> scattered about all over the place. All right, here we go. Shoulders elevated in three, two, here we go. Squeeze, there is no pulse on this one. Big push to the top. Very, very good. Now notice, are you dumping your weight onto the tops of the shoulders? See if you can keep yourself from sliding on your shoulder blades. Beautiful, big push to the top, come on. Excellent, nice job, 10 seconds, push. I'm already deciding that on the next round, I'm going to lift one end of my box, three, two, and one. I'm going to reposition everything, but one end of my box is going to be elevated so that that shoulder elevated does have a big, bit of a bigger range. Three, two, here we go. My bad. Squeeze and lift. Feet are flat to the floor. Toes are straight ahead. Ribs are tucked at the top. You're pushing firmly down into your feet. Push. Beautiful. Squeeze and lift. Come on. Excellent, we have 25 seconds. Try to spread that band as much as you can. Come on, you got it. Beautiful, push, push, push. We have 15 seconds. Feet elevated, coming up next. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause it. You can adjust your box if you'd like to go a little bit higher. Five, again, my mistake. Three, two, and one. I'm just pausing it for one second. 
I'm turning my box. I'm going to walk you through this. I'm going to elevate one end. Okay, clock is back on. We go in eight. We're taking off in four, three, two. Here we go. Be elevated. Squeeze and lift. Beautiful. Hide the ribs. Shoulders are straight ahead. Spread your band. Squeeze up. Control back down. Squeeze up. And control. Beautiful work. Come on. 24 seconds. Strong push down into your box. Beautiful. We have 15 seconds. Four stays on. Hide your ribs. So, so good. Come on. Push. Beautiful. We have six. We have four. Three, two, and one. Band is off. Low box squat or regular box squat. Super position. Three. Weight is down. Two. Here we go. Weight goes towards the floor. Big push back up to the top. Weight towards the floor. Now if you're tucking your tail, the box is too low. So try to keep tailbone nice and long. Sit low. Big push. Feet nice and wide apart. Push. Shoulders are set. Control the jump. Push. Beautiful work. We have 11 seconds from here. Band goes back on. Shoulders elevated. We have three, two, and one. Okay, band on. Shoulders elevated. Three, two, and clock is on. Woo. 40 seconds left on the clock. Beautiful. Up. Nice job. Push. Exhale, lift. Control back down. Big exhale, lift. Control back down. So, so good. You got it. Remember, straight line of the spine. Push. Come on, push. So, so good. We have eight seconds. Nice. We have five, we have three, two, and one. Ow. <laughs> Feet flat. Three, two, here we go. Ooh. Push, control back down, big push, and control. Hup. Beautiful work, spread your band, hide your ribs. As you come down, notice. Do you relax and let the band pull your knees in? Try your best to not let that happen. Come on, 20 seconds right here. Big push to the top, come on. Excellent. We have 15. Up. Beautiful work, hide your ribs. Push. So good, come on, come on, come on. We have five. We have three, two, and one. Feet elevated. Oh, I have to pee. Five, four, three, two. Here we go. Beautiful. Come on, push. Nice job. From here, wide stance, sumo box squat. This time, though, the weight, like last round, is held towards the floor. Why do we have it towards the floor? For you to continue to experiment. Does that allow you to feel into the glutes a little bit more? Push. Come on. 10 seconds. Push. You got this. We have five. Three, two, and one. Quick transition. All right, wide stance, weight starts down. You can start down if you'd like. Three, two, here we go. Hip 
hinge, bend your knees lower and push. Hip hinge, bend and push. All toes stay on the ground. You got this, come on. Beautiful work. Big push. Yes, 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 come on. There you go, Meredith. Nice, Cecily. There you go, Melissa. Good, Lindsay. So good, ladies. Come on. We have three, two, and one. Final time through. Shoulders elevated. Three, two, and one. Never enough time. Okay, here we are. Control down. Big push. Again, notice if you're pushing and kind of dumping your weight this way. See if you can keep your shoulders still. Don't rock back over the top of the bench. 20 seconds. Push, push, push. So good, come on. So, so good, strong up. Control back down. Big push. We have four, three, two, and one. Feet flat. We have five, three, two. Here we are, up. Control back down. Squeeze up and control. Beautiful work. Spread your band. Dial it in, ladies. Dial it in. I know you're fatigued, but see if you can increase the sensation. Can you squeeze your glutes more? Can you squeeze your glutes more and abduct, spread the band. Push those knees out into the outside edge of the band. You have 14 seconds. Come on, push. So strong, let's go. We have seven. Keep it up. We have three, two. And one. Feet elevated. Final time of this. Three, two. Here you are. Again, spread your band. Beautiful work. Remember, this is not about the height. It's about are you able to feel the activation. Sometimes if we go too high, we end up actually coming out of the glutes and putting it into our back or maybe more hamstrings, right? So where's the point where you can still maintain that connection to your glutes? Your powerhouse, that is your glutes. 10 seconds. Squeeze, lift. Very good, come on, we have three, two, and one. Sumo to a box, weight towards the floor. Three, two, here we are, final piece. Control the down, push. Weight does not have to touch the floor. Shoulders are anchored, no rounding of the spine. Hip hinge is fine, but don't allow the spine to flex. Beautiful. Push. So, so good. Come on. Up. We have 15 seconds. Up. Beautiful. Come on. Push. Yes, yes, yes. Spread the floor apart with your feet. We have three, two, one. We are done. Oh. Me. Oh. My. Breather. I'm gonna pop this up. My favorite way to start stretching on these days is a seated figure four. So that's what we're gonna start with. Pull the meaty part of your cheeks out from underneath you. And today let's start by crossing the left over the right knee, left ankle over the right knee, flex the left foot, sit up nice and tall. 
breathe. Now, if sitting up tall does nothing for you, you can begin to hip hinge forward with a straight spine. It's not happening for me. That's as, <laughs> that's as far forward as I can go today, which is really interesting. The burn today was real in the cheeks. That was fantastic. I hope that you had a similar experience, hopefully. All right, switch sides. Woo. Nice work. So next week is going to be a little funky because I got so excited about skiing yesterday that on my way home from skiing, I booked another reservation for Wednesday. Actually, yes, next week is fine. Next week is fine. It's the following week that it will, I'm getting ahead of myself. Forget everything that I just said. Next week, though, I am skiing Wednesday again. So those that reach out to me and let me know, I always very much so appreciate. Do you want class? at 6.30 in the morning, or would you prefer I do it Tuesday night and you either are there for it or you get the recording? I think I know the answer, but I always want to leave it also open to y'all. So those are, uh, that's out there for you. Sorry to confuse you with the Thursday, but next week Thursday is normal. Feet really wide as if you're in your sumo position. If you feel more comfortable, feet can be turned out, but straight ahead is also fine. You're gonna use your elbows, or maybe I guess the forearms, and you're gonna lean forward and drive your knees open. So you're trying to get into your adductors. Now, if this isn't doing too, too much for you, you might need to come into more of a forward fold or you may need to come off your box and lower your hips. So come into a very, very wide Buddha. We're here for about 20 seconds. So wherever you're at, try to release whatever tension you have and just let things be really, really heavy as you are using your forearms to press into the sides of your legs, try not to bring too much tension into your traps. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, good, five, four, three, two, hands to the floor, lift your hips. If you're on your step, you're, you're off of your step now, but uh, scoot away so that you can toe heel your feet closer together. They can be about hip width apart. Micro bend to the knees or more of a bend if that's what feels best for you. And forward fold. Allow the head to be nice and heavy. If you want to go into the option of ragdoll, grabbing opposite elbow with hand, that's fine. Breathe. Let your spine be nice and long. Excellent. Soften the knees, rolling up, stacking your spine as you roll up. And then today we're going to go into a modified pigeon. So we are going to use our step. And it's kind of similar to what we just experienced with that seated figure four, but a little bit different. So what we're going to try to do is you are going to start by putting the leg on your step. From here, you're going to begin to scoot the back leg further back behind you, and the goal is to get that back leg down, the knee down to the floor, okay? Now, if that doesn't seem reasonable, quickly grab a pillow, a yoga block, something to put under your knee, okay? It's just so you bring the floor higher to you, and we are in a new variation of pigeon. One fabulous way to do this is on your bed. It's not a firm surface, so it, it, it can be a little kind of more forgiving, but the armchair of a couch, if you've got like a nice wide padded armchair, a coffee table. It's a great way to, to get into this hip. We're here for 10. Now, I should have said this too, you could do a bit of a forward lean. Turns out I really actually don't need to too much to make this pretty intense, so I'm gonna stay pretty vertical with my torso. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly support yourself, swap on out, switching sides. Now notice that this side could be totally different than the other. Mine certainly is. And just be aware. Notice what's tighter, where your body is on this side. As we wrap up here today, I just want to remind you all 
to try to catch yourself today in any negative self-talk or any judgment. Usually if we're judging somebody else, it's usually actually a judgment of ourselves. And don't beat yourself up for it, but see if you can just start to build awareness. And if that is a practice that you're familiar with, you have that awareness, start to see if you can replace that statement, that negative statement or that judgment with something that is the exact opposite. Just a little practice for today. Rise on up, step on out. Maybe one more forward fold. I like to kind of keep my hands on my step, putting my hips way, way, way back. For five, four, three, two, Supporting yourself, coming up to stand. We are done. Nice work. I hope you feel your fast today. Again, what is your fast? It's the junction of your thigh and your ass. I used to call it the under butt, but my good friend Adrian told me it's called the fast. So you'll hear me say that quite a bit. So maybe you feel this area right there when you're like going upstairs or sitting on the toilet. That'd be great. <laughs> I love hearing about that stuff, by the way. All right, have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow.